I loved hearing Steph Curry actually talk for himself last night because there's been so many stories about him the last week. Take a look at what he had to say. I definitely expect to uh, be ready to play. I don't know when, but at some point in early spring, it's just a, <clears throat> a matter of the rehab process. You know, I'm excited about the potential that the rest of the season isn't, isn't lost. So this was so interesting, right? Because he breaks his hand about 10 days ago. He has surgery. They say he'll be reevaluated in three months, which at the time we were all like, I mean, you had just had surgery on your yeah. hand. Three months is a long time. So it's it sort is. of like wink, wink. Hey, we know what this team is doing, trying to keep its draft pick. But he said in that press conference that the plan is for him to have the pins taken that got put in in that right. surgery then taken out, and then he's going to recover after that as well. We saw Kyrie Irving have some of the metal that was put in his knee get infected with that staph infection later on, so maybe they're just trying to make sure and keep him totally locked down. Early spring is not, it's not soon, right? So he knocked down the report that he wasn't going to come back at all this year, but early spring is still, for a team that's not expected to make the playoffs, is that like a month of playing? What are we talking about? Is there a point, I mean, in bringing him back at all? I mean, look, the, the draft pick is safe, I think. It's right. top 20 protected. They're clearly not going to have one. Not sending that to Brooklyn. Yeah, that's not happening. So they, or Memphis. Memphis. Oh, did they get Or Brooklyn. It is yeah, Brooklyn. 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 I'm yeah, sorry. Brooklyn. Uh, but anyway, so, so that, that's, that's cool right there. So now you're talking about the players who are young players who are getting time, lots of time to develop and learn the system in longer than two or three minute stints here or there. Right. So that's a thing. But at some point, Curry has to come back because whatever they experience running that system, even D'Angelo Russell, that's not what it really is until right. you got Steph in there. So there is some value in terms of development of everybody else. But in terms of, I don't, I just don't see them being in the playoff picture by then. No, they won't be in the playoff yeah. picture. But you know, it, it, there's a lot of legacy things on the line for him. Absolutely. You know, I mean, why would he want to waste the whole year? If he has a chance to come back, exactly. he's going to come back. He has records that he's going to break. He, he's continually making records. I mean, this is this is about you know maybe they won't make the playoffs, but this guy is going to be one of the greatest three-point shooters of all time. And so everything now is icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. And so he's just going to add to his legacy, whether it be more points, threes, uh, whatever kind of statistics he's going to put up. Uh, just like we saw Kobe doing his last few years when he passed Michael Jordan. Even though they weren't winning, it was legacy. It was more added to his legacy. And that's what he's going to do. Guys who are competitive want to go out there and play. Yeah, and how about just because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. He's 31 years old and you're just going to, we're all going to just blow off this season for I him. I agree. I wouldn't want to do that if I were a player. You're shaking your head. I mean, if, if you were hurt and you had a chance to come back, wouldn't you want to play, work Absolutely. out the kinks? The only, I mean, it's not like when you pull out David Robinson to get Tim Duncan, right? right? That's not this situation as far as we know. Well, I mean, well, because it's something. It could, it could end get up that way. That's similar. It could get as, that way. As we're but but if, that. if he comes back with a month, let's say, do right. you think he's going to dramatically change the fortunes of the team? And we don't know what's going to happen with Clay. I, I think this is just the right thing to do for, for Steph Curry mm -hmm. and for the Warriors. Well, apparently this runs in the family. Damian Lee, Steph's brother-in-law, yeah. broke his hand as well. Yeah. They say he's only going to be out a couple weeks, so we will What's see. What's happening with hands? I know. It has been crazy. Gordon Hayward, yeah. Kyle Lowry, right? It's just a lot going on right now. Little yeah. bones. <laughs> Little uh, I still have two pins right we'll here. You you go. Um, I like Steph. <laughs> <laughs> I like Steph coming back to play this we year. Slide, right? We keep talking about Gordon Hayward, OG, had a year-long layoff. It took him a long time to come back. We talk right. about Kristaps Porzingis, 20-month layoff, then he had time to come back. Don't make your layoff so long, and then you won't need as much time to come back. And I know Steph wants to come out of the gates firing mm -hmm. next year. They will have a lot to prove to a lot of people. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.